from two outside hitters. And what you'll hear from Coach Sheffield, too, fearless as Shaquoin gets things underway here in West Lafayette. Big dig by Skimmerhorn. One more. And Eva Hudson perfectly placed snap down the line. You think about it, you know, this match is going to be a long match if Purdue continues those digs. Just two in that rally in the first point of the match, and Eva Hudson finds that shot down the line to end it. When you look at blocks, when you look at digs, Purdue, one of the most solid, dependable defenses in the Big Ten. Shaquoin has been solid the service line throughout this season as well. First swing for Orville, and right there is Skimmerhorn. Taylor Anderson, the slide, and slamming it down is Myers, exactly how this offense wants to run. I, you know, often we talked about her defensively, just watching her footwork, footwork on the blocking, but how about the footwork on the slide attack, finding that seam to put that ball away. You alluded to it in the open, the great story that she is plagued by injury her first two seasons here in West Lafayette and taking advantage of all the playing time she's seeing this year. Anderson goes to Hudson, and there will be a violation on Wisconsin. Another point to Purdue. Yeah, Purdue is starting off really strong in this rotation, which is the rotation five, which they normally start in. They get Eva Hudson up there at the top, Devin Robinson, and Carter Booth up there. And on that the replay, with the net, right? You can see the net moving there. Coin so much firepower behind that serve. Wisconsin into the net offensively, and the run continues for Purdue. Yeah, nice 4-0 run right here for Purdue, coming out hot right away tonight. This Wisconsin team coming off a four-set loss to Penn State, just their second loss in Big Ten play, hit a season low 176, so still adjusting to life without Smrek. And here they get out of system. Anderson going to the hot hand, which is Hudson, and she goes off speed to drop it in. One thing that she does really well is just change up her shots, but her team is giving her that opportunity with those good touches at the net, which turns into a dig transition game. Five nothing as you look at Smrek wearing her zip up on the bench. Anderson behind her head, well done, but kept up by the Badgers, making six nothing boilers to start set number one, and a timeout call by the four-time defending Big Ten champions in Kelly Sheffield. An electric start. Have not been able to force Chloe Shaquain off the service line to start. The first time these two teams met, it went four sets, but Purdue dominated. The second set forced Wisconsin to negative 0-29 hitting. They got blocked nine times, and they're starting dominant here before Shaquoin finally does miss out of bounds. Right, well, they, that's one way to stop the bleeding, right? A serving error by Purdue. Boy, they really had him on the run. Uh, Wisconsin's rotation won. You know, not an easy rotation to get out of, but unfamiliar territory for the Badgers. out of bounds as well. And an attack air for Wisconsin. Not very often that you see those kind of airs from this team. Just one here early. They're a team used to hitting over 300. And you see that the only team to hold Wisconsin to a negative hitting percentage. Off the middle, Carter Booth. Nothing he can do to stop that. Now, it, the nice thing about Carter Booth, too, she identifies who's in front of her. She had a double time so her only shot was to hit cross body towards you know the right back position so she's got that fast arm she's going to be able to put that ball away how fun is it to see her and booth face to face across the net two incredibly physical athletes sarah franklin finally getting a swing and she's able to register the kill yeah sarah franklin is their go-to for Wisconsin, you're going to see her all over the court tonight. Left side, 
really coming in strong with that cross court angle. Coming off a career high 59 swings, having an outstanding season, putting up middle blocker kind of numbers. Speaking of, Raven Colvin able to get it down. Yeah, nice job by Raven Colvin identifying that set was a little too low. She's got a high jump. So if her arm comes around late or if she's late to the setter for that quick attack, she just drops her elbow and makes sure she clips the middle blocker on the other side. The freshman Taylor Anderson. This line. Going back up the middle. This time Caroline Crawford gets the point for Wisconsin. Yeah, the, the one stable factor is a middle this whole time for Wisconsin it has been Caroline Crawford. And she plays along the front row. She'll go back to serve. And she, she adds a lot defensively for this team. Experience as well. It always feels like she is one of the anchors of this team. Colvin once more, but kept up by Guchtekin. Anderson looking now to Hudson as she tries to go down the line. Nice dig by Skimmerhorn. And from the back row, she coined with a blast. Tooling it off the block, Sarah Franklin. Yeah, there's a good rally on both sides. A lot of patience shown by Wisconsin digging that backcourt attack by Shacoin. Gigi back there playing in the libero position. No stranger for her as well. She was a libero for the Badgers. MJ Hamill leaves that one short. And Kenna Woolard can't get that to fall. Point to Wisconsin. Well, she, she put some heat on that ball. I think she was hoping to hit some hands somewhere. <laughs> some. Some hands up there by the Badgers. Another freshman seeing a lot of time for the Boilermakers. We talked about Chloe Chapoin with both her and Grace Heaney really stepping up for this top 20 ranked team. And an ace, Wisconsin, getting back into this one. They were down 6 nothing. And Purdue likes to use their middles right now, especially when they're passing well. Raven Colvin has already gotten a lot of attempts. Wisconsin looking poised here at Holloway. That will land out. Maybe a little bit of a close call there, but back. Well, the serving game has been very interesting for both of these teams. Wisconsin, you'll see them kind of yo-yo. Sometimes they'll serve short, deep. Purdue is known for short. Hudson targeting Guchtekin. Franklin had to make an adjustment and is still able to find space. And that was on her only shot, right? Cross court. If you go outside the antenna, uh, the defense should know she's going to hit cross court. Just reaches high with that snap. Shakoin almost floats out way too far in that antenna to make a difference. Colvin gets another swing. That's working for the Boilermakers. What a high reach, too. She didn't need to put a lot of heat on that ball. She just makes sure she gets up in front of her setter. Good transition, one-on-one. -on -one. Colvin just three airs. Her last 46 swings coming in. She's really found the switch offensively. Tommy Thomas Ilara into the game for Wisconsin. Orzol brings a lot of heat, ripping it cross court. Yeah, smart by Orzol, really going after Raven Colvin too. Raven's back there for a reason. She serves, she'll run up and play defense. Orzol recognizes it and goes sharp cross court. Her sixth start, an outside hitter, which we were introduced to her last year when she was all Big Ten second team as an outside. One of the great ones in this conference, and she can do everything. Lorna Myers drops it in from the middle, too. That's really going well for the Boilers right now. Right, right now, Purdue is passing well. They're getting those touches on the block, able to dig transitions so they can set their middles, and that's what they know they need in order to beat number three team, Wisconsin. Five of their eight kills as a team from their middle blockers, Myers and Colvin, so far. 
There's that big swing from Temi Thomas Ilara. Well, Temi has played opposite before, not for the Badgers, but she's played opposite for Northwestern. So she she knows what she needs to do. She still gets the same tempo ball as Devin Robinson does. So nothing too different. Obviously a little lower than Smrek, but she's got a nice swing over there on that right side attack. And that is the versatility of this Wisconsin team on display, the number three team in the country. In the back row, it is Eva Hudson putting it down. Well, she knows how to float, that's for sure. Nice hang time by Eva Hudson. She gets up there, big, strong approach by that 10-foot line, sees the block in front of her, makes sure she goes cross-body, finds that open spot. Well, we should coin helped key that 6 nothing start by Purdue to start this first set. Hudson, big rip. And a point to Wisconsin, though. Another look at that block. Booth with her swing. Devin Robinson, East and Nine, and Purdue fired up in front of their home crowd. Sure, no, to, to get this gold crowd fired up by the strong blocking by Purdue, Eva Hudson. Not only offensive powerhouse for Purdue, but she can add those blocks in there as well. Carter Booth, Jacoin can't get there. Wisconsin, so many weapons throughout this season as Booth goes to the bench. In the front row, Robinson, Franklin, and Crawford. And another ace for the Badgers, and there is the giant hug from, Gu uh, from Gooch to Kin. We've seen that from time to time, right? <laughs> So she's ready for it by this point in the season. That's a great serve. Wisconsin is really up their serving game this season. Very strong from that back line. Chacoin had to readjust. And Franklin crushes it. Good defensive effort by the Badgers to put that ball right on the money. If you move their setter into that position where they're in front of the 10-foot line, Sarah Franklin just needs a two-step to get up and put that ball away. I don't think I've ever seen anybody Sloan in the nation could do what she does by not taking a full approach. Raven Colvin, her third kill on five swings. May you bring up a good point. We talk about Sarah Franklin. Of course, we know her range. We know her vision. But the athleticism it takes to just make it happen under less than ideal circumstances. And she continues to do it. And Purdue is putting pressure on her. They're almost forcing her to hit line because they don't want to dig that cross court or that sharp angle they know so well. She's kind of hitting right into their defense right now, and they're struggling to take care of it. Five kills, seven swings so far, and a couple of digs. For someone who you can make a really great argument as Big Ten Player of the Year. In fact, that man, Dave Shondell, says, that'd be my pick, Sarah Franklin. David Colvin gets another swing. Hamill goes to Franklin, and she's unstoppable right now. And that cross-court swing. Reach high with that thumb down. She's able to place that ball in front of the 10-foot line. Does a two-step gather. Great backswing. But she reaches so high, and she can place the ball so She can place it and put power on it. It's a double whammy. Special skills. <laughs> it's very special. Wisconsin unfazed by their slow start. Off the slide, it is Colvin who is able to put it down. It was very sneaky by Colvin, too. You see her reach high with her hitting in. Nice approach, comes off one foot. You don't know if she's going to place it 
deep in that back corner. She just tops it right off in the 10-foot line for that kill. Caroline Crawford gets it down once more. Trading the same points, right? Those tips in front of the 10-foot line, those light touches. Defensively, you have to have your feet stopped. You have to read, react, anticipate, and try to get a touch on that ball. Franklin, she gets an ace. Wisconsin's got three in this first set alone. And they lead by three. Once trailing pressure off that left side pin. Right now, they're doing pretty well with Franklin scoring. Colvin, what an athletic move. Gets it over. Anderson to Chacoin, a blast, but picked up by the Badgers. And then it is Franklin putting it away. Gigi back there, doing her thing, making sure her platform is down and low for that attack. And what happens next? Well, you know it. We got somebody up there scoring in that middle position, Sarah Franklin. Franklin into the net. She had been able to get Wisconsin on a roll back to a three-point difference. Raven Colvin to serve. For the first time ever, the Big Ten Player of the Week. Defensive Player of the Week, very accustomed to. Player of the Week. Capping off a great season that she has had. She gets the bump set to Shakoin. Thomas Ilara, and then dug by Hudson. Great look, but a point to Wisconsin. Shakoin couldn't keep it in bounds. And she likes those flat balls, too, as an outside hitter. She's somebody that doesn't want to wait for that set. She likes that flat tempo ball. She runs right into it, and she's able to get that arm up nice and fast. Wisconsin the first to 20 in set one. Shaquan wants another crack at it, and that time hammers it down. And she changes her shot, so she doesn't go back to tipping that deep line, which was open, and she just missed the time before. She goes for that deep edge, cross court, that power angle. Sarah Franklin is up too shallow in the middle in order to dig. It's been so fun to see this year, the confidence she's walked in with amongst the top freshmen, not just in the Big Ten, but in the country. Coin had to make a big readjustment, but still gets the kill. That was a big point for Purdue. Out of system, off balance. She gets this kill by sure grit. You know, Shaquoin had about, I think, 14 kills last time they played Purdue. Eva Hudson had 18 kills. Those two were the only big time performers in that last match. She's no stranger to hitting at a high clip against the top level of the Big Ten teams. And they want that moment, the two of them, since Shaquoin stepped onto campus. They've made each other better. Eva Hudson knew coming off a Big Ten Freshman of the Year campaign, hey, I have to raise my game even more. And they both have benefited each other. Skimmer Horn looking for Shaquoin. And Orzel can't quite snap it down. She really wants that line shot, too, and she put a little spin on it. Good thing by Purdue in order to make Izzy Ashburn dig that first contact in a 6-2. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure those setters are digging that first ball so it gets the Badgers out of, out of system. Orzel one for seven. Still takes regular swings of practice. Good save by Skimmer Horn. Here's Robinson, the solo block. Hudson says no. Wow, it got really loud in here right after that block. Hands forward, her feet are stopped. She turns it back in. One-on-one -on -one opportunity, huge point for Purdue. All-American versus All-American right at the net. Orzel denied. She gets another look. Looking for the touch. She's got it.
and the block part. No, the, the block is set up, so it gives their outside hitters right now the line. The Couldn't call is anything. confirmed. It is confirmed. And they do have a different angle. They have some different video that we're not able to see. So it remains a kill by Yulia Orzol. Hudson is rejected. Booth Robinson in on the stuff. Timeout called by Coach Shondell of Purdue with Wisconsin inching ever closer to set point. Top four national seed to host the first two weekends and Purdue aiming for a top 16 seed as well. Would be a big win on either side. A huge dig by Chacoin. Franklin gets another swing. Hudson tools it off the block in Purdue, keeping up the bat. No, I love how Eva Hudson gives credit to where credit's due. Look at this layout by Shacoin with that right arm stab. A lot of patience by the block to set it up perfectly for Eva Hudson in the end. Franklin goes from serve receive to attacking. And a back row blast from Shakur. Devin Robinson over the block. And it was not touched a point to Purdue. You can see how fired up Raven Colvin was on that play. Oh, we can see her facial expression all the way through. A true leader on this team. She has really stepped up. Wisconsin. Skipper Horn off the tape. And Sarah Franklin, how did she see that spot? Because she finds a way. And that's what great outside hitters do for their team, especially somebody, you know, that's getting over 30% of the sets uh, for her team. She has to. She's put herself on the line for this team. Set point, Badgers. And a point to Wisconsin. And they overcome a 6 nothing deficit to start to come out victorious and go up one. Tied for third in the standings at the Boilermakers with that tiebreaker taking the season series. Ashburn gets it into play in set two. And Wisconsin starting off with the denial of Lourdes Myers. Well, they like this start better, right? <laughs> They're still, both teams are, are, are starting in the rotations they started in last set. Got row one for the Badgers and row four or five right now for Purdue. Izzy Ashburn so lethal at the service line. Gets Wisconsin's fourth ace this match. goes to Shakoi. Wisconsin looking to get Robinson going is not registered to kill just yet. But she will make this stop defensively for you. Well, right now Robinson is struggling as far as hitting, but boy, she's turning on the heat in the blocking department. Reads it well, takes a nice short move, gets up, put those hands over. Not a lot of options for Chloe Shakoi. This is a rotation. Wisconsin feels like it can go on a run. There it is. Izzy Ashburn, another ace, and that's five. Yeah, Izzy Ashburn is no stranger to this back baseline and serving these aces up. Was a serving specialist for many years for Wisconsin. And the reason why she was back there as a serving specialist is because she can serve short, then deep, then short again. She's not strayed from sharpening that skill by any means. From the back row, it is Hudson for getting the side out. Yeah, and they'll go to Hudson too whenever they need that side out. They're gonna find her out of the backcourt. She goes right up the pipe, right up the middle, but sometimes she goes behind the setter as well. Hudson, six kills. Second on the floor behind Sarah Franklin's eight. 
in the first set alone. Ashburn looks to Franklin. She delivers a blast. On the slide is Myers. She really had nowhere to go there, but a point to Purdue anyway. Yeah, Myers going to go up one foot behind the setter when the setter's in the front row so they can split the block. Caught Orgel off guard. Orgel floated a little bit. But hey, you know, somebody that hasn't blocked in a long time, she's still doing a nice job up there offensively. Hey, you think about that transition just from an offensive perspective. But a good point about playing in the front row once more. All out effort from Shacoin. And Booth quiets the crowd. It was a great rundown on Purdue's side to get that ball out of the, the student section over there. But Carter Booth is up there. She's ready to go. Puts that attack away fast. Anderson, well done. The freshman can look for her offense. Yeah, it, you know, she's, a, she's a, a strong setter up there, a great blocking setter. Offensively, she doesn't have a lot of numbers right now, but I can see her for her future getting stronger in that category. Franklin unloading. Yeah, thank you, Izzy Ashburn, with a one-hand set. She was happy about that one. Getting Sarah Franklin up nice and high, too. Boy, look at that rip right in front of Eva Hudson. Guchtekin add another ace. That is six for Wisconsin, zero for Purdue. Just relentless on that back line. They just go for it. She and there's the ace <laughs> hog again. Yeah, she finds her friend, Ashburn. Hey, when you grow up not being able to contribute offensively at all, playing overseas, you're going to celebrate every ace you get. Robinson tries to slam it down. She registers the point for the Badgers. The Badgers do a nice job being physical at the net. We all know by just by looking at them how physical they are, but you have to be that way at the net. Timeout called. Wisconsin leading by five. A strong start to set number two. Live from Columbus tomorrow only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. What a block by Crawford. She read that so well. She didn't have to move. She stood there and put her arms up, and I think Chloe was just trying to power your way through, and sometimes that works. Sometimes if you put some muscle behind it, you're going to find some weak arms. Not in Crawford's case. Well, she was braced and ready for the heat coming her way. Hudson, beautiful swing and a lot of heat behind that. A lot, and she just powers through. She passes up the block, still puts some topspin on the ball. She's telling her teammates right now, let's go. We have some work to do, and it starts with Eva Hudson putting that first kill down. Well, Shaquoin hitting negative right now. Hudson over 300, and she's got a team high seven kills so far. And Ravens Coleman again kind of goes right back at Crawford. Doesn't have to move too much. She takes one step in, but what she does a nice job is she reaches those long arms in, in and presses over. Sarah Franklin getting the swing of Wisconsin's offense. Beautiful dig by Guchtekin, and finding the space is Colvin. She has found this spark at the end of the season offensively. Get the momentum going, and it starts with some good serving back there on that baseline. A couple digs here and there, but again, opportunity for Colvin to be strong and physical at the net. Colvin, five kills on ten airless swings. Nice block set up by the Purdue Boilermakers. Franklin takes advantage that time, but it will be Purdue.
Franklin couldn't find the floor. Well, the net was in her way, right? She used the tape. It didn't, uh, it didn't work to her advantage that time. 4 nothing run for the Boilermakers. Franklin getting a lot of swings. This time, tools it perfectly. Yeah, last time she went cross court. This time she turned it around and hit line. Was able to take advantage of Kenna Woolard up there. Ten kills right now for Sarah Franklin. Only one air. She's taken ten swings more than Devin Robinson behind her. Carrying a big load. We saw it earlier on with our IFS advanced stat. Over a third of this team swings over the last two matches and extending here into the third without Anna Scrap. Point to Wisconsin as they get Purdue out of system. Yeah, perfect three-point pass by Skimmer Horn back there. She does a nice job in serve-receive. Just not a lot of connection right now between Taylor Anderson and Raven Colvin in front of the center. Kind of Woolard has that turn back. And then it lands. Point to Purdue. Purdue needed that point. Needed to get on that run. We see him use the tape. CeCe Crawford looking for that ball, just not able to play it on Sarah Franklin's part. Thomas Ilara flipping it over with the left hand. Excellent dig by the setter, Hamill. Point going off speed, but read by Ozil. And Thomas Ilara, one of the sharpest swings you will see. Yeah, good out of system ball for Tammy. Nice and high inside, so she can pass up the block. She really accelerates on her spike approach and forces the defense to go in front. That's something she's had to adjust to this season as a Badger, not only getting fewer swings, no longer 1,000 to 1,200 per season, but getting those out-of-system looks. He, Kelly Sheffield says often having to take out the trash, so to speak. And that time registers yet another kill. All right, two positive plays right in a row for Temi, left side, then right side. That's very positive to see for Temi coming off a match in when she accumulated six airs. And it's been up and down for her, but you know she is someone that you want on the floor and filling in big here at right side. Roller has to readjust. Ball momentarily lost. Raven Colvin whips it down. for Purdue defensively, just putting that ball up in play, waiting for the right time for that connection. Raven Colvin does a nice job of finding the space. Six kills for her. Complimenting her defense with her offense, continuing in this match. Shacoin denied at the net, but she gets the upper hand. She sure did. Something we saw them work on in practice, the joust, and be able to take that ball sometimes on the other side of the net or on your side of the net and push it down. And she might be a generous five foot 10, but she is gonna give you everything she's got and meet you right at the top. Orzel lines up and is denied. Then goes down the line. She's got it that time. She's on the ground. After she swings, she's been on the ground. She pops back up, able to do a nice transition ball and find the line for that kill. Three kills for Orgel. Wisconsin in this set hitting 227. Lord is Myers this time up the middle, and that's a tandem that has just been so hard to stop. I like how Taylor Anderson is setting her high. It forces her to use her reach and she can tip the ball. Sometimes if you set your middles too low, they're not able to get a good swing, nor are they able to drop their elbow and get a tip. Thomas Ilara 
Whole lot of heat on that swing. And that falls for Chapoy. It was off speed there. It was off speed. The ball is coming. Uh, the ball is in front of her when she attacks, but her arm is coming around house, so it's hard for the defense to see what she's going to do. Carter Booth says we can score up the middle, too. I love it, too. And Carter Booth really shows she opens up to her setter. It's almost, you know, saying to MG Hamill, hey, I'm here, why don't you set me? Even when that ball is low, Carter still find, finds a way to attack. Middles just have to be open, up, and available. Chacoin tries to go over the block. Great effort by Franklin. And Purdue will pick up the points. Defensively right now, the Badgers are getting balls. Purdue's getting balls. Look at that sideways block by Carter Booth on her way down. Orgel's trying to find hands up there, just didn't cut it this time. Orzol and the stop by the freshman center, Anderson. An exclamation point on that. You said it, Sloan. This is why she adds value to this team, not only in the setting department, but in the blocking. 0.8 blocks per set, the number one setter in the Big Ten for blocks per set. Orzol, working in little space, gets it over. Robinson off the bump set. She's into the antenna, a point to the Boilermakers, and we're tied at 15. Slide, it is Robinson. Orzel is stopped. Lord is Myers making her presence known at the net. Four nothing run for the Boilermakers. And getting Wisconsin out of system. The net sent down by Anderson and the Boilers. They'll take that point. Yeah, those second contact balls. Wisconsin works on a lot. And here's a good reason why they have to. I mean, you run that ball down. You've got to put that ball up high enough and away from the net so your hitter can get a nice swing on it. 5 nothing scoring run for Purdue. And another denial. Lord is Myers. Look at what she's doing. And Wisconsin's going to do anything right now to get their middles involved. A double quick in front of the center. This is a Purdue team and their four set win over Michigan State, tying a season high with 16 blocks. And it's working for them to build points, too. They are on a 6 nothing scoring run at the moment in Chicoin. Continues at the service line. Up the middle, Carter Booth. That is tough to stop. And a quick way to eat into this run. Yeah, nice try by Izzy Ashburn delivering a ball that really wasn't a perfect pass. It was a good enough pass so she can feed it to Carter Booth. Exactly what they needed to do. And I'm sure they talked about it in their timeout. 
On the slide, it is Myers. She's doing everything for the Boilers. And that was fast, too. Not only was it a great serve by the Badgers, they were able to handle it, Purdue, with a nice pass up, but delivering a nice, flat, and fast ball up there for Lourdes Myers to clip Sarah Franklin. Six kills for Myers, taking command of this role this season in West Lafayette. Wisconsin responds with another kill. They're within two. Yeah, and Sarah Franklin, you know, that's somebody that they needed, the Badgers need up there in that front row right now. They needed to get out of that rotation one that they struggled with, actually, all night. Gochtekin goes long. They've relied on her heavily back there, too, with all the aces and just getting Purdue out of system. Purdue the first to 20. And that will send the freshman Anderson to the service line. Franklin off the block. Hudson terminates with authority. If you give her a seam, she's going to take it. She sees it. You know why? She keeps that ball in front of her. She does a great job of releasing, getting her transition game all the way back. So she accelerates, keeps the ball in front of her, and she can see the defense. Crawford gets her swing up the middle. Long set to Hudson and kept up by the Badgers. But putting it away is the freshman Wooler. Purdue has really picked up the pace of play right now, speeding things up, setting fast to the pins. Franklin, a lot of heat on that swing, and it lands out of bounds. Wisconsin looking to make a charge, but it looks like there was a net violation there indeed. Twenty-two eighteen is Purdue's lead after that whistle. Thomas Ilara, a big rip right when Wisconsin needed it. A lot of space, a lot of time for her to deal with that. Great dig by Gigi on that line. Very solid, stopped her feet. Perfect pass up. Textbook play by the Badgers. Wollard finishes strong. Not a normal spot for her on that left side pin, but does a nice job identifying that line is open just outside of Temi's right hand. How is Ilara off the bump set? Bullard once more. She tools it off the block. She's the hot hand right now. The freshman getting set point. The confidence. Love it. That is what defines this Purdue team, youth, but swagger. Thomas Ilara misfires, and Purdue evens it up at home. Chloe Chacoin starts set three here at Holloway. Second contact, almost not there. Hudson has to muscle it over. Off the slide, Lourdes Myers. A lot of success in the second set with that play for Purdue. The back row, it is Shacoin who can't get it to drop just yet. All-out effort by the Badgers and prevailing is the Boilermakers. 
just waiting and waiting. That ball crossed over the plane of the net. How many times? Like six or seven times. Devin Robinson laying out and a couple of those rallies. Is he Ashburn just not able to put that ball high enough for the batters to extend it? Chloe Shacoin, even though she's not racking up aces, coming off a match in which she had four, but she has been so steady to just keep points rolling at the start of each set. Sarah Franklin finds the line. I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm speechless sometimes when it comes to Sarah Franklin. I love watching her play. She plays the game so beautifully. And that's why she's gonna be that player of the year, I believe, for the Big Ten. I wish the audience could have seen you just look at me, shake your head, because sometimes there are little few words with the talent she's got. And a point to Purdue as that ball goes awry for the Badgers. I really think Purdue has just really stepped up their whole level of play. Their pace of play is so much faster than it was in that first set. Skimmer Horn serving now. Sarah Franklin looking for that line. She keeps it in once more. Deep along the edges, over the block. Defensively, there's not a lot that Purdue can do with this ball. The front row dictates what the back row is going to do. Chloe Shacoin lined up right outside of Raven Colvin's hand, exactly what she needs to do. Great kill by Sarah Franklin. Just one error on 32 swings. The first meeting between these two teams, 22 kills, just two errors, 39 swings. Coach Shondell says, we're gonna defend her differently this time. But she just keeps putting up video game numbers. And the great thing about this conference, Sloan, is that the Alta they get to watch each other and mimic each other. You just saw Eva Hudson up there. Okay, you know, Sarah Franklin, this is what she can do. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put one up on her. I'm gonna hit and turn that one line. Eva Hudson, we're gonna be talking about her when she's a junior next year about being in that player of the year conversation. Another point for Purdue, keeping it rolling here early, leading by two. But you're right, Liz, she's on pace to reach a thousand kills to be the earliest to do it in the rally scoring era. That's a great thing about women's volleyball right now. You can you can watch so much and learn so much for these young players. You couldn't do that when I played. You couldn't watch volleyball at all. I had to wait to the Olympics to watch it. Now you can turn on the television, you got everything streamed. You can really take notes and learn. And you should be watching. That is <laughs> right. what the message should be to up and coming athletes, to high school athletes, club athletes, that look at the players who are the best, who you want to be. That's where your attention should be. Eva Hudson, my goodness, unleashing the heat. Yeah, it doesn't matter, left side, right side pin. But great job by Purdue, you know, Taylor Anderson giving her a one-on-one -on -one opportunity so she can put that ball away easily. Orzel is able to tool it off the block and she needed that. It's been a little bit of a struggle for her. Had been hitting negative before that swing. She is hitting so negative and she falls down quite a lot. I know everyone's talking about this. She's putting a lot of effort and a lot of heat into the ball. But if you notice her feet, she's swinging high above her head where her swings are not in front of her. So she's going to land awkwardly, awkwardly every time. Orzol tries to flip it over. From the back row, it is Eva Hudson going off speed. That back row option is excellent choice for Purdue, especially when they don't like anybody in the front row and that out of system play, they're gonna shove it to Eva Hudson and she's either gonna take a rip at it or she likes that tip right over the block. Pretty successful either way. <laughs> right. And Thomas Ilara whips it down the line. That was 
hard to see. That was really fast. That was a great fast arm by Tammy. She saw those hands in front of her and took advantage of it. That's the risk taking that you need. You find those hands and, and push. And a good bounce back for her so far. Five kills, 11 swings, hitting 273. Just what Wisconsin means from the right side without Anna Smrek for the third straight match. Off the overpass. It is Wooler. Coin now off the block, but it is Wisconsin with the denial. Skimmer Horn laid that ball nice and high for Shaquoin, a little too tight, because look who's in front of her. Really strong block of Carter Booth and Devin Robinson. Not a lot of space for her to hit around. I would say in those situations, sometimes you don't want to hit strong. You want to tip it into the block and play it back yourself. But somebody, again, somebody like Carter Booth, though, with those hands way over the net, she's just going to push that ball down. That's sometimes part of the development, right, <laughs> is having that sense of when to just get it over, put it on the defense, whether to take that big rip. And outside hitters, they need to cover themselves. Orzel takes a big wind, and she is stuffed. No surprise, Myers in the play again. Yeah, those blocking numbers keep climbing higher and higher with those two. Taylor Anderson puts on the brakes with that right foot and pushes those hands right towards the center of the court. That was Anderson getting the biggest piece of it as Ellie Hornung goes into the net. We talked about just how good of a blocker Taylor Anderson is, and we know how well-rounded setters have to be right now. They do, they, their skill set, but also they have to be the, the quarterback on the team. They have to lead the charge. Sarah Franklin goes off hands. And Franklin again using that back line. She's got another kill. Yeah, along the edges too. If we did her uh, shot chart right now and seeing all the areas where she scored, it's going to be peppered along this end line. 15 kills, hitting 4-12. You can call them middle blocker numbers, video game numbers. That's what she's doing on a night in, night out basis. Franklin once more diving in is Shaquan. She just had some huge digs tonight. Big kills done by Carter Poof. Yeah. No answer. Great dig transition too by the Badgers. Doing what they do so well, controlling the ball and spreading the offense out. Seems like whenever Wisconsin needs something. Booth has been able to just slam it down. Quickly up the middle. Once more for Myers and picked up by the Badgers. And Carter Booth coming up big again. Yeah, it's a great spot to set her too. She's away from the little blocker, gets her away from Myers right there, straight up in the middle, makes her move a little bit more towards that A, that gap position, and she's able to swing cross body. 4 nothing run for Wisconsin. But a surface air, the fifth of the game for the Badgers. So that will send Shaquoin back to the service line. No aces for Purdue so far. Carter Booth once more with power. That's three straight for her. You got to protect the money maker too. Hornung up there, got a nice little shock, and that's how fast it was delivered right back at her face. Is because of the three-point pass. Perfect execution back there and serve received to deliver that ball for Carter Booth. Eva Hudson. Good effort by Ashburn to keep it alive. Franklin. Hudson once more down the line. We are seeing everything in her arsenal today. We see, we're seeing a lot of great volleyball tonight. 
defensively, I'm really impressed by both these teams. But in the end, the patience of Eva Hudson finding the court for that big kill. Six kills already in this set for Eva Hudson. Hudson awkwardly doesn't matter. And that's a great hit for all those young hitters out there to watch. As an outside hitter, yeah, you want to bang, bang, and put that ball down, but you want to be able to deliver a nice off speed, and she does that so well over those very tall blockers. Taking over set three. Skimmer Horn, and then Chacoin. They deserve that one. My, we're gonna remember this play. Cece Crawford goes up for the kill, but look at that layout and off speed, that beach angle for Eva Hudson finds the court. Hudson gets hands. Crawford. She's going to find the space going cross court. Yeah, she's a workhorse, too. I'm watching her transition every time. She does not bail. She's back there on the 10-foot line, ready for her spike approach every time the setter gets her hands on those balls. Four kills, hitting 375. And always that dependable outlet for this offense. Raven Colvin responds right back. That hurts, puts Purdue up by one in a back and forth third set. Both teams efficient here. Wisconsin hitting 364, 320 for Purdue. Sarah Franklin has to readjust your coin right there. One more time. And Sarah Franklin misfires. Put the jersey on Chloe Chacoin. Yeah, point Chacoin, right? She's able to deliver these dicks because her feet are stopped at point of contact. I can't stress enough how important that is and just your grit and your desire to get these balls. And another ace. John Dell asked by the media if he ever takes Eva Hudson for granted. And he said, me? Absolutely not. I thank God every day she's on our team. She is so steady. You just assume she's going to have 20 kills in every single match. She has worked hard on her serve receive, her defense making progress, and just a special player that he does not forget. Speaking of special, Sarah Franklin, silence in the crowd with yeah, that she, she heard us. She's like, don't forget about me. You know, stop talking about Eva Hudson so much. Uh, hi, I'm Sarah Franklin. Let me remind you. Yeah, let me, let me just tell you what I'm all about here. Raven Colvin. She has been unstoppable as well, up to eight kills, hitting over 400. Yeah, I love that play too. When the pass moves the setter in front, a lot of times setters will go against the grain and set all the way back to the right side pin. I love how she can just flip it right behind her head, and there's her friend, Raven Colvin, getting it done. Big kill. Sarah Franklin with the answer. Yeah, no matter where she is, front row or back row, they're going to find her. Yeah, she doesn't take anything off of it. Take no prisoners, right? Right behind the 10-foot line, turns that foot in so she doesn't step over it and gets the most out of her approach. Which isn't much, by the way. It's only really a two-step. I know I keep saying it, but I'm really impressed by that. Jocelyn Boyer into serve. Shaquin gets it over and gets the kill as well. Purdue is definitely playing as a team right now, and we have the best angle on this because we're 
we're closest to them, but we see them coming together after every point and really looking at each other in the eyes. There's a lot of belief with this team. They know what they're playing for. They want to host weekend one of the NCAA tournament to secure a top 16 seed. Thomas Ilara and dug by Hudson. From the back row off the tape and kept up. And a whistle will give that point to Wisconsin. An extra touch. Yeah, a little delayed call there. Everyone screaming for Wisconsin expected that point a little bit faster. Going, watching Tammy too on those out of system balls. As long as it's high, she can take a good rip. But Purdue's defense is right in her sweet spot. She needs to keep mixing up her range, her shots. So it forces Purdue's defense to, to take a step either left or right for those balls. Shaquine unloading. If you're Wisconsin, you have to release very fast. There you see Carter Booth going with the setter, expecting maybe the middle to get set. But no, it's Chloe Shaquine, Devin Robinson trying to reach in. But that set is so fast out to the pin, they're not able to close. Orzol is stuffed. Lourdes Myers and Anderson have been the super team at the net. Yeah, it's tough right now for Orzol. That is not the set that she needs against a double block. An emphatic showing at the net by Things in their hands when we look at the Big Ten championship picture. Excellent dig by Hudson. And then Shaquine. Too long. She's going for those high hands. It wasn't a great set. It was inside and died. Coley's trying to rip those top of those fingers by the Badgers. Just didn't get that one. Much needed point for the Red to get out of that rotation one, which they despise right now. Sarah Franklin finds the space. You know, part of the game plan for Purdue was to give Sarah Franklin a little bit more line, forcing, forcing her to maybe hit a less than powerful shot down the line, but not so much. 18 kills right now for Sarah Franklin. 372 hitting. Lourdes Myers has been the bread and butter up the middle today. Purdue, the first at 20. And she's available. She's up. If you're a setter and you see your middle up in your face, chances are you're going to set her. Franklin once more, superbly done. Yeah, no adjustment by Purdue right there. Maybe they didn't think she was going to do that twice in a row. Uh, you know, they're sticking with their game plan, but right now they need to rotate a little bit more. Shakoy maybe needs to gravitate more towards the right back. First to 20 is one, both sets. And Eva Hudson tooling it off the block. For the block with, with Wisconsin, getting your hands up and over a little bit faster against Purdue will go a long way. Hudson, big swing, big kill, late in set three. Eva Hudson, again, just getting back far enough so she can really gather her body and hit that cross-court angle. Nine kills in set three. Devin Robinson able to get that one to fall. And that's just her second kill tonight. Yeah, just trying to climb out of the basement, right, with those negative numbers. And she can do it. We've seen her uh, firsthand take advantage of an opportunity against Illinois and just really lit it up offensively against the Illini a few weeks ago. 
Wisconsin trailing late in the set like they did in number two. And a service error by the Badgers. Purdue inching closer to set point. That's what you have to deal with in this building. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the crowd so loud and right behind the server. Sarah Franklin and skies and fires. At the net, one by Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin's taking charge too. Right in that middle of position, she's not backing off. Hudson, unstoppable. And a set point for Purdue. And there it is. Two. Together as a team, it's going to make a big difference. And they'll need to hear a must-win set from the number three team in the country to avoid a two-match losing streak. Franklin and dunk by Skimmer Horn. Chloe Chapoin steps in, and it'll be a point for Wisconsin. Julia Orzel back to serve. And we get a look at Wisconsin's rotation here. Yeah, right now, Wisconsin's starting in that row two, which they started in the last set. And same thing for Purdue. No change. Purdue starting in that rotation four. In that last time out as well, we also saw Coach Sheffield not leading it right in the middle. Yeah, a lot of discussion happens between the sets. And one thing of note is that the conversations with all the coaching staff from Wisconsin, definitely talking about rotations and what they need to do to change things up. Purdue getting on the board in set number four. And Chloe Shaquin, it feels like when good things are happening for Purdue, she's at the service line. Just two aces as a team, but they've been able to pour on the points and go on runs. Nice dig, but Sarah Franklin says, I got it. Yeah, up at the net being physical. Purdue was able to handle that ball. Wisconsin looking that three-point pass by Gigi right there, something they need from her every time as a libero. But hanging tough in there, up at the net being physical like they can be, that is Wisconsin's game. 21 kills for Sarah Franklin. And Eva Hudson, a lot of fire down the line. She gets the touch. Yeah, she responds too. And what they're doing is that fast, flat ball all the way out to the pin, not giving this blocking dynamic team. Wisconsin, what are they ranked second in the country with blocks per set? They're handling them. And it's because of that fast pace of play. Outside of the reach of Chicoin, a point for Wisconsin to go up by two. Yeah, Sarah Franklin hitting close to 400 right now, 408 actually, with 22 kills, two errors. Guess what? 49 attempts. Incredible performance by Sarah Franklin. They need it here in set four. Hamill behind her head to Thomas Ayalara. Even Colvin off tape. Thomas Ayalara gets it to land. That's a better shot for Temi, too. First time around, putting the ball right where Purdue's defense is. Second time around, making an adjustment, going high hands, deep along the edge. She's got six kills third on the Badgers. Yeah, just watching Coach Sheffield uh, uh, with that Temi kill, he liked it. He's clapping. He knows exactly what they need from her. 
Eva Hudson picking up where she left off from set three. They're going to be able to stop at Wisconsin, make an adjustment. If you're alone as a pin hitter and they're consistently hitting that cross court angle, which is basically all they can do on that flat, fast set, you've got to step in as a blocker and take away that shot. Great set. Thomas Ilara has been the go to. And Eva Hudson, even better. Well, Skimmer Horn had that great dig, too. Just one step movement, perfect pass up there. Again, another fast play. They almost had it that time, just a little flimsy in the arms, but they set up well. Look at this battle we're seeing. Hudson and Franklin, 22 kills apiece, trying to take over, lead their teams in this match. That means so much to both of these teams. When we look at seeding for the NCAA tournament, Wisconsin battling for a top four to host those first two weekends. Purdue hoping to be in the top 16. But you bring up the block of Wisconsin and Carter Booth showing her fire. Yeah, great read by Carter Booth. Taylor Anderson going against the grain, sending it all the way back to the pin. Carter Booth was able to identify that and track it easily. David Colvin is out of bounds. Point to Wisconsin. When you set up a good block, Sloan, it forces the other team to try to make adjustments. Sometimes they don't need to, but they feel like they have to, and that's why you see some of the errors that you're seeing now. Colvin picked up by Guchtekin. Carter Booth is denied. And Raven Colvin takes care of business. Raven Colvin could be physical at the net, just like a Carter Booth. Kenna Woolard is in there again, doing some nice things in the front row for Purdue. Nine kills for Colvin, second on her team behind Hudson. Multiple Boilermakers on the floor. There was no one else to get that ball. As a coach, you want to see it, right? You want to see multiple bodies sometimes going for that tip. They don't want that tip to drop. You have to be extremely loud in this gym to call for that ball. Having Thomas Hylara tools it off the block out of reach of Skimmerhorn. And that was aggressive. You know, Temi did not die on that play. She did not bail on that play. She took a full swing when it wasn't a perfect set for her. Take those risks. Those Badgers need to take the risk right now to win this match. Kenna Wooler, she was fantastic in the second set, playing with a lot of confidence against the number three team in the country. Oh, I believe that's her fourth kill right now on 10 attempts. Very impressive. She has really solidified herself as the Big Ten season has developed, even as a freshman. Thomas Ilara, the hot hand. I like the matchup right now for Tammy against Chloe Chapoin. Out there on the pin, a little space between her and Lourdes Myers gives Tammy the alley that she needs to score on. And it's been great for Wisconsin to see this production from Thomas Ilara hitting 316 because the other opposite. And Devin Robinson still hitting negative at this point. She's been able to pick up some of the slack. And a Woolard as that turned back. It's a great serve by Izzy Ashburn too to develop that play. Tart on the Fox Sports app. Lourdes Myers big dig from Guchtekin. 
And Devin Robinson needed that. She is pumped. They like this comfort zone, right? This lead that Wisconsin has. Their numbers have climbed, not only in the hitting department, but also the blocking department. That seems to be what has fueled this run they have. Robinson back to back. It's a nice ball for her, nice and high. It's up to Devin what she does with that ball. Sometimes out of system or a set, if it's too flat, you know, they, they're, they're taking what the setter gives. Right now, the ball is nice and high, so she can decide. Is she going high over the block, or is she going to pummel it right cross court? Moesha Coyne turned away. From the back row, skying in is Franklin and kept off the ground. Devin Robinson getting a lot of swings, but a whistle will give the point to Wisconsin. Yeah, I believe it was a net call. Coin going over the block, flying in the setter Ashburn. And that leads to a kill by Robinson. Yeah, Devin's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Forget who I was before in the first couple sets. I'm back. Izzy Ashburn laying out for that ball. Devin Robinson taking her time, making sure she's doing what she needs to do to get that sweet approach and for that big kill. And that is three straight kills for Devin Robinson. She's now hitting zero. Orzel just tips it over so softly, but exactly what she needed to do. Yeah, a, a better, uh, a smarter play by Orzel instead of trying to take a rip and falling on her backside. She identifies she's got four hands in front of her. What can she do? She played that ball perfectly. Wisconsin, a 7 nothing run. The largest lead any team has had in this match. Quickly up the middle, Myers. And Orzel has been snapping it down the line so well. And she got some space that time. She definitely had space to work with. Really important as an outside hitter. Izzy lays it up nice and high. And she was able to find that back line. Make it an 8 nothing run. And Wisconsin's doing a great job of slowing Purdue down offensively. Purdue's numbers are not high at all. They just put in Lizzie Carr right here as an option to try to get out of this rotation three. Carr getting the first swing as she steps in. Devin Robinson. Another for Carr, she's into the net, and the run continues for Wisconsin. And they'll just keep sitting in this rotation with Izzy Ashburn, one of the best servers. I mean, really, you could say the best server. She's first in service aces in program history. Not there despite the effort from Franklin and finally Purdue able to side out. Yeah, just stop the bleeding, get out of that rotation. Just even trying to find Lizzie Carr, who's cold, comes in off the bench. That's not easy to do. Trying to find one point. I've seen this a lot in Big Ten play this year. The, num the amount of runs and how big the runs have been. Emily Rostovsky also into the game for Purdue, and Robinson takes advantage quickly. Off of one foot, she's able to do that. One foot slide off of two feet, no matter what. Former middle, very valuable, and that versatility we talked about early on with the Badgers. You're exactly right with Robinson, though. This is the real Devin Robinson we're seeing right, in set right, number four. Right, not an imposter. And the block butts the points to Purdue. 
It's Rostovsky coming in off the bench. Right. Off the bench, just kind of rotating right side attack. They need somebody out there to add a little spark. Purdue definitely needs to put some points in play so they get some of that mojo back. Chacoin back at the service line. That's been a good thing for the Boilermakers. Excellent dig. It's Chacoin again. Sarah Franklin, all her might on that swing. And Eva Hudson keeps it in. Yeah, great touches on the block by Purdue to, to find this defensive rhythm, something they've been lacking this set. It's unexpected with how we've seen their perform in sets two and three to see them fall behind by this much. Off the tape and Franklin right there to save it. Robinson, it has been her fourth set. She's got the hot hand, you gotta find her. Really surprised Lourdes Myers doesn't automatically gravitate towards Robinson here. You see her shade to the right a little bit. As a middle blocker, you have to read and react, but sometimes you gotta go to what, what is given to you, and that's the Badgers are going to Devin Robinson. Franklin gets the touch. It has been all Wisconsin here in set four, making a statement. Yeah, Jocelyn Boyer's in right now, getting a nod. Haven't seen her in a while. That transfer from my Iowa, I believe, a couple years ago. Eva Hudson trying to get back into this match with that swing. Yeah, just passes up the block, goes for that low angle. Carter Booth is up nice and high. Eva Hudson could just scathe her on the left side. Yeah, she's trying to fire up her team, something she did in the last couple sets. Hudson finds the space, but it actually went out. I thought that might have been inside. Yeah, just wide, just wide. She's going for that right angle. Badges are all smiles right now. Happy they got this big lead. Purdue, six hitting errors in this set. Zero for Wisconsin, 500 hitting for the number three team in the country. Thomas Iwara gets it down. And Temi coming through big time right now for the Badgers. Finding her own on that right side pin. Raven Colvin. They've needed more of that in this set. Yeah, even against a double block, too. And that was fast. She's up. She's showing herself available and puts that ball away. Passes up the left side blocker, going for that deep, hard angle. Set point for Wisconsin to send it to five. Up the middle, it is Franklin and denied by Colvin. Eva Hudson, but a point for Purdue. Yeah, and a block error, net, net call for the Badgers. Purdue needs to rack up some more points going into the next set. Doubled up here, though, by Wisconsin after they were so in control in sets two and three in those victories. Raven Colvin doesn't get the touch, and Wisconsin takes care of business in set four. We go to a decisive set five here. When they desperately needed it, and we'll see how that carries over to set five on the road.
Devin Robinson came alive in set four. Hudson, one more swing and turn back. Hudson, once more, still kept up. Hudson looking for the termination, but it is Wisconsin standing their ground at the net. They've started off this match in long rallies in this first point and really sets the stage. CeCe Crawford setting the stage right now for the Badgers. Shanks pass and a free ball. Devin Robinson keeping it up. The distribution by Wisconsin has really stepped up, making it harder for Purdue to figure out where they're going to go. She has stepped up so well. And zero kills, six errors on one point. Franklin takes the long pass, and Lourdes Myers denies her. She read this really well, out of system, said, hold on to Taylor Anderson. I've got her right here. Point down. Six blocks for Myers coming off a match in which she had a career high nine in four. Out of play. And it'll be a point to Purdue. Just a little ball control air right there. Miscommunication. Raven Colvin's all business up there in that front row. And over the net, reaching over is Ashburn. That'll be a point. That's a tough ball. Gigi put that ball a little too tight for Izzy Ashburn to handle, as you know. It's a 6-2, so the setters are coming out of the backcourt. If the ball crosses a plane in the net, it's fair game for Purdue. And it's called a back row attack for the Badgers. Flying in is Ashburn. She's been all over the court. Somehow kept up. But it will be a Wisconsin point after that goes awry yeah, on the other Ellie, side. Yeah, Ellie Hornung is flying from the backcourt up by the net just to keep her team alive right now. Tools it. Takes advantage of the timing. So the block is there. They're ready to go. It's all timing. Eva Hudson delays, delays. Hits an off-speed shot. And clips the elbows of Devin Robinson. Hudson, 26 kills. New career high for her. Not to mention... 59 attempts. Devin Robinson, hard swing. It's Hudson, they'll stick with her. Don't count out Eva Hudson, but I love the defensive effort by Chloe Shacoin in the backcourt using her whole length of her body to keep that ball in play. Well, keep going to Hudson, and she cannot be stopped. Yeah, she knows it too. Devin Robinson knows it exactly. And Taylor Anderson at the service line. Carter Booth. Just can't deny that swing. Yeah, fight back. Respond with a three-point pass. Set your middle to Carter Booth. Back on the board. 
two-point swing right now for Purdue. They're still up by two points. We got Hamill at the line. Carter Booth has terminated at the biggest moments. And great effort at the service line by Wisconsin, MJ Hamill. Yeah, she gives a little wink over to the bench like, I got this. You gotta love the confidence out of the senior not returning to the Bad Bears roster next year. She wants to make sure she leaves Purdue in a good, leaves his place in a good spot. Raven Colvin rises above the block and puts it down. Do you feel like she just was going up on an escalator? Climbing a ladder. I, I mean, I, that's what I view that as. She went up one level and then she ended up going up another notch to get that tip over the block. We have seen so many players just make plays. Example right there by Colvin. One more time, but kept up by the Badgers. Excellent defense and hustle, and then the block to ignite this crowd. Look at that layout by Sarah Franklin. She's saying, no, no, not today. Defense wins big matches. And goes for Raven Colvin, too. Purdue, the first to eight. Raven Coleman, you can just see her pouring herself, her heart into this match. Huge step, step up for her in this leadership role this year for the Boilermakers. 12 blocks tonight, and they are out blocking Wisconsin, something only one opponent has been able to do this season. Excellent dig by Skimmerhorn. We haven't said her name that often tonight, but Skimmerhorn is a solid rock back there as a libero defensively. They're only putting up 12 points in set four. Off the overpass, Wollard can't put it down. And off hands is Sarah Franklin getting a point when they need it. Yeah, that's a hard ball to get, too. That's a high ball going across the court. Sarah Franklin's got to be very patient. It was a tight set, too. Just taking a rip at it and gets that tool. Badgers need to win tonight to keep their hopes of a Big Ten championship alive. And Franklin, back-to-back -back points, this time at the service line. And she's got the magic. And that's all I can describe it. It's magic back there. You know, two positive points in a row. She slows that, that arm swing, goes after that tape to get that short ball. A lot of people will say that's lucky. I don't think that's lucky. It's the tape once more. Raven Colvin skying. Can't get it to fall. And Sarah Franklin, a one-woman wrecking crew with how she's picking up point after point. And I think it's really smart right now, Ishandel, taking this time out. They have to slow down the Badgers. Sarah Franklin single-handedly getting her team. Chloe Chacoin slams it down. So confident. Set me the ball, Taylor. I'm up there ready to go. She is at, that is a first tempo ball, Sloan. That's, that's something a middle does. She's up there. The timing of that is impeccable. Getting her shoulders and chest above the tape. Excellent swing to respond right back by the Badgers. We're back to a one-point difference. It doesn't matter. Sarah Franklin's on the court. Badgers are always going to be in the hunt.
Excellent effort by Shaquille. She's been all over this match, but it is the Badgers who will tie it up. The momentum shifts in this game so often, especially when you're playing at such a high level. And they both, they're outstanding right now. This is excellent volleyball. Wisconsin out of sorts, but keeping it up. On the slide, it's Lourdes Myers and dug by Franklin in the back row. Kenna Woolard wants that swing. Up the middle with Myers once more. Shaquille over the block. And the call confirmed as it can hear from the crowd. Significant. And Coach Sheffield losing that challenge. Team's great. got an extra one for the fifth, not exceeding two. Right, great challenge to take, though. You need to take it, especially now. Hornung drops that off a table. And Sarah Franklin demolishing that ball. Yeah, exactly where you wanted to put it, right? Sarah Franklin went straight on to Eva Hudson. I know she wants that ball back. Just the heat of the ball, even Hudson was not able to absorb that. Point forces it over and finds the floor. She sees it. She's got great vision, too, in listening to her teammates. The game plan, what's available, what's open, the middle of the court. They expect her attack every time. Well-placed tip. She looks completely unfazed by this moment, trying to take down the number three team in the country that has lost just two times the entire year. Orzel can't get through that block. Eva Hudson, a big rip and a free ball. Eva Hudson looking for that touch, but it's ruled a Wisconsin point. They're looking over to Coach Shondell. He immediately is going to challenge this play. Yeah, they're definitely challenging on the touch ball right here. Off of Devin Robinson's hands. Did that hit the fingertips of Devin Robinson? They were very confident when it happened. Looking for any movement, any bit of the fingers of that right hand. Liz leaning into the monitor glasses yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I think I need a stronger, <laughs> stronger magnifying uh, glasses here, a stronger script. Well, still under review, tied at 12. This might be a good look, too. Yeah, just scratch the surface. It's going to be tough to tough to overturn because the, the original call was out. To the moment. Okay. And the call will stand. So successful there. Yeah, not enough, uh, not enough evidence to overturn by the officials. Rolled an attack air by Eva Hudson. She's got 28 kills tonight to go along with 11 digs. Hudson. Big dig by Guchtikin. And Chloe Shaquille. Is anyone surprised anymore that she's right there? 
Devin Robinson all out fire on that swing. Yeah, good night, right? Devin Robinson had a nice pressure here. No pressure at all. Tiva Hudson, a big rip. There's a touch call that they wanted. No fear in that swing. No fear from her, no fear from Shaquoy. The future is now in this program with those two. Caroline Crawford with the answer. Yeah, she answered. I'm really surprised they didn't go to Franklin on that. Their go-to, giving Cece Crawford an opportunity. Match point. Raven Colvin will extend this set. Great swing by Raven, just getting up fast and able to deliver for the Boilermakers. 14 kills. 345 hitting. Outstanding performance by the Big Ten Player of the Week. Here's another freshman, Anderson, to serve. Look at that dig by Skimmer Horn. Chased down by Franklin. Still up. Skimmer Horn wanted it. With the big swing once more. Now Purdue with match point.
स्टूडियो खोरी पाकर